A Sodad, Book Two, Brown Girl, Brown Stones by Paul Marshall. She ate sitting on the edge of the bed, and from the way she held the bowl in her palm and solemnly scooped up the food, she might have been home in Barbados, eating in the doorway of the small house perched like a forlorn bird on the hillside. She could see the yam patch from there and the mango tree with its long leaves weighted down by the dusk and beyond, all down the soft sloping hills, a Ciceran sea of sugar cane. As she ate, lizards sidled under the dry leaves and her goat knocked its dainty legs against the paling. When she finished, something openly voluptuous crept into her pose. With a languorous gaze, she watched the darkness race over the cane. Her hands rested on the inside of her open thighs. Her pose was so natural that it was innocent. In those moments, she became more than just a peasant girl on an obscure island, but every woman who gives herself without guile and with a full, free passion. The empty bowl in her hand, she stared now at the harsh enamel blue walls of her crowded room and there was no repose in her face or figure, only wistfulness. So dad.